welcome to my channel Wheel of Fortune Psychic Tarot. My name is Mia and in today's video we will see what kind of heavenly blessings your deceased loved one wants to send you from the other side. I have three groups for you to choose from. For group number one we have this stunning card and it says Spirit of the Earth and Consistency with a green fairy holding some butterflies and lights that are floating around her. For group number two, we have this beautiful hummingbird. It also says hummingbird and joy with the pink flower. And for group number three, we have this pretty white fairy and it says willow or flexibility, well, and flexibility. <laughs> Now, all you need to do, as always, is to focus your attention on your deceased loved one. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, pause the video if you have to, and when you think you're ready, then just see which one after three cards calls your attention the most. Do not overthink it, let your intuition decide, and then you can have a look in the description box down below where you find the timestamp for each individual group, so I will see you there. Hi everyone, you chose card number one, Spirit of the Earth and Consistency. You're going to be learning German with me on my channel. Um, but yeah, what a gorgeous card. This is your reading. If you would like for me to channel your deceased loved one in a personal reading or ask about anything else, there is a link in the description box down below. And if you'd like to support me and my channel, I have an Amazon wishlist link in the description box as well so that you can send in tarot or oracle card decks or crystals and this lovely card is from a brand new deck that was very kindly gifted to me by amanda amanda thank you so much i know you're always watching everyone send your gratitude to amanda it helps me out so much when i get new decks and this one is gorgeous okay but let's get into your reading now um spirit of the earth and consistency so i feel like your loved ones want to send you some positive energy, some positive vibrations from heaven so that you have it easier and better on this earth because you are still incarnated. Your soul is still stuck and bound to the physical for a reason, by the way. You are still here for a reason. You still have a path ahead of you, okay? And your loved ones, they do not want for you to give up. They know that you might have been struggling a little bit, especially when it comes to the more material aspects in life. So they want to provide some healing energies for you that will manifest into something tangible to help you out, all right? So I see for many of you that your loved one will be trying to heal physical pain, those of you who've been feeling sick, for those of you who have been affected by anything surrounding your body and your stamina, okay? And um, a very good way for all of you to connect with these healing energies that your loved one wants to send you is by going out and spend some time alone by yourself in nature. I say that a lot in my readings, but it's really true. Mother Earth, Mother Nature, she can heal us, but we need to ask her for help, okay? We need to um, look for that healing. You can't expect to find healing when you're always busy, when you're always surrounded by a lot of distractions, okay? So go out, meditate there, just sit there and watch the plants, watch some animals and ground yourself. And when you do that, your deceased loved one will come through and send you many signs. Also, I see swans here. Um, that will be a sign for some of you. Maybe you live by a lake or near some water. Water, by the way, also has amazing healing energies, okay? So just go out, sit down somewhere, maybe underneath a tree, channel your loved one. You can all channel them, okay? You don't have to be a psychic medium in order to do that. Just sit there, think about them, send them love, and notice how they will send that love right back to you, okay? But your blessings um, 
are of that kind, what I've just described. Okay, butterflies, by the way, will be a sign from them too. I see lovely colors here and some green. So they really want to help you grow and move ahead on your path. And as I've said, a lot of it has to do um, with your loved ones wanting to heal your body, want to make sure um, that you are okay, that you are provided for. And this will be a very consistent blessing, okay, from your loved ones. It's not just like a quick thing or like a small surprise, a mini blessing. Now, this is something that they want to do for you in the long term, which is beautiful okay but now let's connect with their energies all together time and space are irrelevant we can do this right now think of your person with me it helps me to touch the car to really experience your loved one's energies and ask them what exactly will you be sending what kind of heavenly blessing do you have for the one for the ones you left behind Okay, your loved ones are very nurturing. They have very nurturing, almost earthly energy. So they can really manifest and turn their heavenly energies into something earthly, material, physical. And I'm drawn to this card symbol here on this deck. They really love you. I'm also drawn to these roses here. They, they want to nurture you and make you feel whole and help you bloom like a beautiful flower especially if you've been struggling okay so what do they want to give to you wow the five of swords yeah you have been going through some struggles um this will resonate differently for each and every one of you you might have been stabbed in the back by someone um you might have just come out of a serious argument, disagreement, conflict with people that you should be um, trusting, but they kind of broke your trust. You're feeling under attack and there's a lot of tension. And um, yeah, you're dealing with a situation where some other people are kind of after you, attacking you and... Um, yeah, you're so on edge and your loved one really wants you to feel safe. So they tr they're trying um, to send you energy so that you can feel safe and not on edge and attacked all the time, if that makes sense. Yeah, let's see what else we're getting. By the way, again, roses here. What do they mean by that? What blessing do they have for you? What's the blessing they're sending? Is And the page of wands. I love this. Um, this is about a new spiritual path. About um, I, I, I know that this is your loved one. Um, this, um, what do you call this? Um, well, a saurian or a lizard probably. But anyways, I feel like that's your loved ones. And they are trying to help you. Um, I notice the color green here a lot. So your loved ones, they really want to come through and help you grow and also make you feel hopeful about your future. I also notice how this lizard here is standing in the desert. And that is a metaphor for, well, your heart space and um, your attitude towards well your own path you think there is no chance for growth you think that everything is dead and like dry and crusty and dusty and your loved ones here uh, to pop in and give you hope and help you find that spark and that motivation again and they're doing it by sending you blessings um, by being you know connected with you spiritually I love this your loved ones are kind of for some of you, I'm picking up on some male cheeky energies, okay? It's, um, this reading is not gender specific or anything, but I'm picking up on many like cheeky male energies. Maybe like they really like love to joke, don't take things so seriously. And they're telling you right now, your emotions are valid. 
all of your loved ones are telling you they are valid. I know why you're feeling that way, but come on, cheer up. Don't be so serious. Don't take it so seriously. Forget about these people who hurt you. Just walk away from them. Go on your own path. I'm going to help you out. <laughs> I love that. What else? What kind of blessing? Heavenly blessing do they have for you? Wow, the page of cups, guys. Expect a surprise as well from your loved one. You have two pages cards. So again, I'm getting very like young, fresh energies from your loved ones right now. Even if they were not young in human years when they were still alive, they are young and kind of, you know, like fresh and motivated. They have that spark as souls now on the other side. And Alice here, she's holding out this cup. And let me have a look at the fish. The fish has a little message in its mouth. So expect, for some of you, I'm getting a very specific message now. Expect a message from people that have to do with this conflict situation. A good positive message, a good turn of events. If you are in trouble with some authorities, okay, expect for there to be a message that brings relief to your situation and that you won't be expecting. If you have like private issues with some people, like expect some kind of surprising message that will bring sudden and uplifting change. And your loved one is actively working on that. And I love how this lizard is kind of um, having this like thinking posture here um, with the index finger on its uh, chin or the corner of its mouth like your loved one is constantly thinking about what can I do to help my person out they really want to help they can't do as much as they might want to do for you or as much as you are asking for them to do keep in mind that you have free will you are an independent soul you have a journey and um you know loved ones and angels aren't always allowed to interfere they can only do so much but your loved ones are really trying their best to help you out okay and um I'm wondering if some of you have a little cabin out in the woods or a shed in the garden or some sort of house. And if that resonates, again, a very specific message, your loved ones want you to go into that space, that room, that house, that cabin, that shed, that garage, maybe. And they're telling you, you will find something there maybe a note or something your loved one left behind or something that you have been looking for, you will find a surprise in that space if that resonates for you, okay? Getting so many specific messages. Um, what other, oopsie. Okay, like we don't need that. I never take all of the cards that fall out. Well, sometimes I do, but I know that this one is the one they meant for you to see. The King of Wands. And what an image. Is this guy here balancing an ale on his nose? What's this about? I love the imagery. But this is something very, um, very important here. And I'm going to have to ask your loved one to specify, please, what do they mean with this knight? Sorry, this king of wands. What kind of blessing is this? What do they mean? Okay. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, guys, I love that for you. That's literally the Ace of Pentacles is exactly what I have been talking about to you the whole time. Offering a blessing that, you know, has to do with tangible, material, physical, earthly things. So, um, again, it will resonate differently for each and every one of you. But for some of you, you might meet a man who will give you a blessing and or who might be a blessing and know that this man will be sent to you from heaven from your loved one they will make sure that this soul who will come and meet you will find you okay because you know you're meant to uh, come together and they will help you out offer you something if you're looking for a new partner they will offer you love if you're looking for a friend like a buddy you will get friendship if you're looking for a job this might be a boss offering you work or paying you like anything that will resonate okay but I'm really picking up on 
a very um, strong, fierce, potent male coming into your life, helping you out, giving you something, providing you with something, okay? If that doesn't resonate or if that's not the truth for you, then no, that, well, I sorry guys, but I really do feel like all of you will have an encounter with some kind of man. It doesn't have to be romantic. I'm saying it could be a teacher, a mentor, a boss, like someone who is higher up, okay, um, who can do something for you because they have uh, more wisdom, more power, whatever, they will help you. Someone will step into your desert, like, look, this guy is in the desert as well, and he is dressed in green. So expect growth and healing and blessings where you're feeling empty right now. So you have to reflect, where are you feeling stuck? in the desert like nothing's going for you you're feeling drained you're feeling empty you feel like so dry in that situation you will meet someone who will help you out they will really do something amazing for you and that's all because your loved one is um using them as a tool as a means of you know looking after you which i absolutely love by the way do some of you love to eat and bake that's a very specific message again. Some of you will love to eat and bake and uh, there might be a little blessing regarding that. That sounds weird, but I see like some of you love to bake bread or cookies. Expect like a little miracle regarding that. That sounds really weird, but it will resonate for those of you who are meant to hear this message. Okay, but let's get some more of these awesome oracle cards from amanda the sacred forest oracle cards and oopsie something's falling out but it's too soon and let's ask your loved one to please specify this blessing look at this card this hand reaching out and giving this coin um i know this is this guy who will give you you know a coin an offering money an opportunity a gift okay so um yeah, let's ask your loved one what this will be. Also, this could be like something that will really help you deal with this conflict for those of you who resonated with the conflict situation. But yeah, let's ask your loved one what kind of blessing will this be? Can you please specify what heavenly blessing will it be? Power, dragon. Wow, this card is so gorgeous. We have a woman here. And she's kind of laying down on the ground and we have this light globe and the dragon so you're this woman regardless of if you're male or female you have these energies and you're still you know you're kind of asleep almost or like so drained you're so empty you're so powerless your loved one is that dragon stepping in to give you power to give you motivation to give you spark and to get things moving for you okay so they can't do that directly they send you energies but i feel like and I told you this, this man you're about to meet in your life, and I really do believe that for all of you will be men, is powerful. They can really do something for you. I'm just going to give you examples like, again, a boss who might give you an amazing work opportunity or a lawyer or a judge who will, you know, give to you what you deserve and make sure that you receive justice or, you know... A romantic interest who will offer you commitment like something like that okay but yeah this will be a powerful gift here something consistent something you will benefit from in the long term um protector of autumn um letting go yeah in order like your loved one is telling you in order to make sure that you are ready to receive this blessing let go of what you are still holding on to. Sometimes we desperately cling on to things because we don't want to lose them because we think we need them. But as soon as you feel like something or someone doesn't serve your higher good, like your purpose anymore, let go of them, okay? Just appreciate what you learned from it or from them. Let go, move on. And only if you let go, you have space and room for this blessing or this person coming in. 
Okay, so it might be negative emotions for some of you or people and situations, outcomes. Let go. Go out, spend time in nature, ground yourself, meditate, open up to receiving blessings. You really need to do your part of the job as well, okay, in order for these blessings to come through. What else? What else? What else? Okay, this one, yes. Wow. Raven Truth. Guys, I really feel like and I'm I'm smiling because I I see a client's story here. I know you'll be watching, so um this is definitely confirmation for you, but maybe for and hopefully for many other people watching as well. Truth. This has to do with a conflict situation where you're kind of involved with authorities who attacked you and treated you unfairly and um, yeah maybe your reputation has suffered as a consequence okay for all of you your reputation might be at risk because of the conflict you're going through regardless of that if that's authorities or private people or whoever like is trying to stab your back trying to harm you talking badly about you the truth will come out your loved one will make sure the truth will come out you will experience justice in this situation and that will make you feel fresh and new and ready to move on and start a new journey okay and um yeah it's always a loved one working their magic but um yeah the person helping you out with this will be this man or maybe even yourself and again i'm noticing the crown the illuminated crown on this woman's head so you will get clarity and answers if you channel your loved one if you do what i've been telling you to do Ground yourself, meditate, let go. Your crown chakra. Guys, look up crown chakra meditations and crown chakra music. Do some crown chakra meditations out in nature. That will help you receive many powerful messages from your loved ones. Okay. Really love this so far. But I'm going to get some more oracle cards here for you. The ones um, that Alexandra gifted to me. They're also very gorgeous. So let's ask um, your loved one to tell us more about your heavenly blessings. Self-love. Uh, waxing crescent for. Guys, love yourself. Be good to yourself. Okay. Um, that's a bit of a warning from your loved ones. If you have been suffering from this situation to an extent where you're starting to doubt yourself, to think little of yourself, especially if these people's opinions have been getting to you. Now, distance yourself from that. Nurture your heart space. And again, I see flowers here. And she, this lady, has her arms crossed over her chest. That's never good. Open up your chest. Open up to the universe so that these blessings can come in also you might have become understandably so defeated and sad that you're not ready to let in people who might be a blessing and it's understandable that you're so skeptical and doubtful but your loved one is telling you when you meet someone um, new soon when someone comes your way just trust your gut instinct, your intuition, and your intuition will let you know that's the one sent by your loved one. So um, don't reject this person because they might really help you out. And creation, um, beaver moon, yes, creation. And again, I'm seeing some, um, what's this? This looks like um, an architect's, um, Ah, oh, guys, what do you call that? You know, when they make a plan before building um, a house or anything. Your loved one is telling you, you can plan your future. You can manifest your future. Again, a moon here on the crown chakra space. This lady sitting by herself. Guys, spend a lot of time by yourself and meditate do some crown chakra meditations so that you can receive clarity and guidance from your loved one. Do that. And by doing that, you will help create a blissful, abundant path for you. One last one. Wow. P 
peace. Guys, she is meditating too. Like if you have been, um, if you have not been accepting what I uh, told you here, now is the time to accept it. You need to meditate. Like some people say they can't meditate or it's boring. Everyone can meditate and it's not that difficult. Okay, there are different approaches to med meditation. Meditation can just be sitting by yourself, just breathing, doing breathing exercises, just, you know, watching plants out in nature, watching some animals, watching birds, watching the sky, anything that will help you distance yourself from the chaos surrounding you in your day-to-day -day life, from your own destructive thoughts or like bad thinking patterns and habits, anything that makes you feel just at ease and grounded and peaceful, you will benefit from it. And you really need to do it. You need to do your part of the job so that these blessings can come in again, guys. Crown chakra meditation, crown chakra music, spending time alone in nature, distancing yourself from other people. Do that and then these heavenly blessings will sure come through and find you, especially this man here who will help you out. Some final written messages from your loved one. Please tell us something about the heavenly blessings. Pray for me. Um, I know what this means. I read everything intuitively. You don't need to pray for them. It means connect with me through meditation because prayer, guys, is also meditation. Prayer doesn't have to be that religious. It's a spiritual act of connecting with the universe, the creator, the creator within yourselves, your own subconscious, okay? So meditate and channel your loved one the way I've been telling you to. Your loved one wants you to do that in order for you to receive the blessings. You are so strong. They're saying, don't doubt yourself. You can do it, okay? Just do it. Just start. Take baby steps. You can do it. They believe in you. Please work on believing in yourselves as well. Death is not the end. This refers to your situation as well. You might be thinking that your, your path is dead. Like your opportunities are dead. Um, that That's it. You know, this desert um, situation. No, you have so much abundance waiting for you. So please... Use this mantra, death is not the end, during your meditations as well. That will help you. I'm still here, won't leave. Yes, your loved one is so committed to you. That's why they want you to channel them. They really want to help you out. They're doing the best they can and they're doing as much as they are allowed to. So know that you are not alone in the desert. You're not alone in this conflict. And um, yeah, know that you have someone rooting for you, supporting you, thinking about you daily and what they can do to help you out, okay? But yeah, I love this reading for you guys. I really hope you did as well. If that's the case, then give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on the bell for notification so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and to soon hopefully, bye. Hi everyone who chose the hummingbird card with the word joy on it. This is your reading. If you would like for me to channel your deceased loved one in a personal reading or ask about anything else, there's a link in the description box down below. And if you'd like to help me out and everyone else in the community support my channel, then there's an Amazon wishlist link in there as well. For those of you who'd like to send in a tarot deck or an oracle card deck or a crystal, these beautiful cards here were gifted to me by Amanda. So thank you so much, Amanda. Can't wait to use them. This is the first reading. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So heavenly blessings from your loved ones in heaven. Um, I really, well, it's self-explanatory, really, Freude, joy. I really believe that they want to send you positive energy so that you can feel joyful and happy. They want you to just be happy, like, don't worry, be happy, like that song sometimes, you know, 
you're shattered, you're broken, you're sad, you're depressed, you're grieving, and you don't see, well, how am I supposed to smile right now? Or how am I supposed to be happy? But that's exactly what the song Don't Worry, Be Happy is about. And um, you never have to feel guilty for being happy when something bad happens. You deserve happiness. Your loved ones want to tell you you deserve happiness. They want to see you smile. This gorgeous pink color here and these sparkles tell me that they really want for you to feel filled with loving, bright energies, okay? And they want you to be free and to just, um, yeah be joyful so the blessing will have to do with that we will get into it but hummingbirds by the way are spiritual messengers in some cultures um they are believed in mexican culture to send messages and greetings from heaven so your loved one wants to say hi to you today just like my uh video from a week ago titled hello from the other side they're saying, hi, please smile for me if you can. And you don't have to be like compulsively happy, you know, in an unhealthy, like toxic way. There are some people like that. You're allowed to feel sad and whatever you're going through. But make sure that every day you try and smile. Even if it's just a little smile, even if it doesn't last long, try and do that. Smiling heals. By the way, smiling and laughing does things to your brain. That's science, okay? You can um, make your brain produce happy hormones just by forcing a smile or laugh. Look that up. It really works. But that's obviously not what your loved one wants you to do. They don't want you to force things. They want for you to feel genuine joy so let's ask them to come through we can we'll do this together what kind of blessing do they have for you that will make you experience joy okay uh, i'm feeling some dads coming through okay this reading is not gender specific or relationship specific but i'm feeling some dads coming through what kind of blessing wow the wheel of fortune yes my favorite card ah oh, like this can be a good luck or a bad luck card if it's in the upright it's a good luck card so expect a lucky turn of events that will make you feel joyful I feel like for some of you, and this is a specific message, you have been either running away from something or chasing something. Maybe you're chasing a person or a situation, a certain outcome. You feel like you're running out of time. It will never happen for you, but your loved one's telling you, yes, it will. Stop chasing it because by doing that, according to the law of attraction, you just manifest that you don't have it. Just stand still and wait for the blessing to come in don't exhaust yourself you will be blessed and it will be something that you have been wishing for for a long time okay yay good luck for you what's this blessing please page of swords guys in the first pile we had two pages cards as well and now here's the third one in this pile page of swords um, I have to ask your loved one to specify who this is. Could be you. I'm picking up that it could be you. Yes. Getting a specific message for some of you. Some of you are chasing love. You are dreaming about the ideal partner, maybe. Or a new partner if you have lost a significant other. And you have been trying many things, maybe dating. Or maybe you're chasing an actual person that's been in your life for a long time. And your loved one's telling you, do not push it. If someone doesn't want to be with you, they are not meant for you. They don't deserve you. Stop uh, pushing or forcing it. Everything that's meant for you will come to you naturally. So for all of you guys, stop forcing it. Stop pushing it. Relax. Everything will come to you effortlessly once you do that inner spiritual work. What's this blessing, please? Let's ask your loved one what this blessing is. What's this blessing? What's this blessing? 
Six of Cups, guys. This is about relationships. For many of you, this is about relationships, soulmate connections. Soulmates do not have to be strictly romantic, okay? A soulmate is anyone who is important for your karmic journey in this lifetime. And I'm getting different messages here. Um, well, for many of you, this is about love. And I'm telling you exactly what I've been saying. You will meet the one as soon as you stop chasing and pushing for it, okay? The one will find you and your loved one will work their magic from heaven so that you find this person. For some of you, it could be even reconciliation with a partner that you broke up with a long time ago, okay? It will happen as soon as you stop forcing it. Relax, don't think about it. Grant yourself, let the universe do its magic, let your loved one do their magic. Relax, it will come to you. And what is this? That's an elephant with wings. A flying elephant. Wow. So they're telling you what you're wishing for is as difficult or it seems as difficult as making an elephant fly. Very heavy, huge, humongous animal. And your loved one's telling you nothing is impossible. The universe provides infinite possibilities for everything to happen but it has to be in the best interest of everyone so if this person that you have been chasing or this situation that you've been chasing hasn't worked out okay you haven't reached it you haven't received it then trust that it's not meant for you um for some of you i'm also seeing siblings you might have a lost sibling that you lost contact with you were kind of separated young and you're trying to find them and you will find them. You will find your lost sibling or maybe a childhood friend who feels like family to you will find that person. And you will have such a good time. Also, um, I'm getting that for many of you, your loved one's blessings mean that they send people your way who are all soulmates that you can spend time with, hang out with, have a good time with, like go grab coffee or ice cream here. Like I feel like they're having ice cream. Now cupcakes, like you will socialize more with people, trusted people that are soul family. Your person will send you some kind people, okay, that will make you experience more joy in your day-to-day -day life. They will come find you, I love that. What else? Star. You have been wishing for something, guys. What have you been wishing for? Who have you been wishing for? Your wishes are not unheard, okay? So your loved one's telling you, I can hear you. I know that um, you've been wishing for this person or this outcome, this situation or this thing. And they're trying to give to you what you've been wishing for, okay? So I feel like for many of you, it's friends or romantic relationships. And all you need to do is to keep on manifesting because everything that happens in your real life is a mirror reflection of what's inside you. That's why the law of attraction tells you to pretend that you already have what you want because when you reflect, I have it, well, the universe has to show you that you have it. Do you know what I mean? So um, just focus on that attitude. Lift your spirits, okay? And pretend like you already have that wish. Be in that energy, feel these emotions and see the magic that will happen. And stop like pushing it, stop getting angry or frustrated because you've been chasing something or someone it's not working out. And, you know, it will just, uh, that's the wrong way to go about it. The right way to go about it is by following the law of attraction and grounding yourself and trusting that who and whatever is meant to find you will find you, okay? What else? Three of Wands in the reverse, yes. So this rabbit here, he is looking at the time and I said that earlier, you are afraid that you're running out of time. Guys, time and space are irrelevant. I know in human years we do age and everything, but 
you live many, many, many lifetimes. If you miss out on something in this lifetime, yes, it hurts, but it doesn't mean that you will never have it or that you never had it in the past. You might have had what you're wishing for now in a past lifetime, and you can be sure that you will in a next lifetime. So don't like try to find some peace in the idea and the fact that you're never running out of time because there is a higher purpose. There is something called divine timing. So what hasn't found you yet will find you later or it will never find you. And that's why and if it will never find you, then it's meant to be that way. Don't think like you are missing your ship. You're missing an opportunity. Don't be in that energy um, of being so frustrated about running out of time, missing opportunities, not meeting the right people. Stop doing that. Relax, guys. Relax and give the universe a chance to work its magic for you because it sure will. Your loved one will send you what you are wishing for, who you're wishing for, but you need to stop pushing. You need to stop being frustrated and angry about it because by doing that, your loved one can't do anything. You create a blockage that cannot be overcome by anything or anyone. You need to open up your heart space, okay? Invite the magic in and just trust. Trust and um, let your loved one help you. Now, let's get some more of these amazing, beautiful, gifted cards here from this deck about your blessing. What's this blessing your loved one wants to send you? What's the blessing? Yes, success, secret fountain. Love the imagery on these cards. You will be successful if you stop chasing it, okay? I'm repeating myself, I know. The cards are repeating themselves. Your loved ones are repeating themselves. You will get there, but you know, it's a secret how you will get there. Stop stressing about what do I need to do in order to meet this person, in order to have what I want, in order to like get that outcome. What have I done wrong? Stop that. Stop it. Stop. Relax. Grant yourself. Practice the law of attraction and everything will fall into place for you when you least expect it. That was a blessing, please. Um... This is, uh, reminds me of um, Stonehenge, you know, the um, circle of stones. That's what it's called. Stone circle transition. So trust that the transition starts as soon as you stop being in that negative mindset of pushing and chasing and being frustrated and thinking you're running out of time, being impatient. You can... Move on to a brighter future where you will receive all of these amazing blessings the universe has in store for you. Look at these beautiful rainbow colored like stars in the sky. But you need to make that effort to practice the law of attraction. OK, so it's up to you. Your loved one wants to help you and they can, but only if you allow it. OK, what else? Wow. Um, wow, ego, freedom. Uh, sorry, ruined my cards here. Freedom. Wow, there's a Pegasus here at the bottom, might be a sign for you. And eagle sure is a sign of freedom and for flying free. You need to free yourselves, guys, from negative attitudes that hold you back. OK, you are transitioning into freedom and freedom, you know, means that you let go of expectations, never make your sense of self-worth and happiness depend on one certain thing in specific. OK, stop that. You need to stop that. Freedom comes from letting go and from trusting that blessings will find you once you open up to them okay so be free free yourselves from this um, negative mindset trust the magic trust that you'll be successful in your transition what else with some gifted oracle cards from alexandra 
what else do you need to know about these heavenly blessings? Well, <laughs> self-reflection, guys. What did I tell you with the star card? Everything that you experience, every person you meet is a reflection of your own energies, of your own attitude. You guys need to seriously look into the law of attraction, educate yourselves on that. It will change your life. It will make you have a powerful transition into freedom and, you know, into experiencing abundance and happiness and bliss. Um, so make sure you do that because you need to change your mindset and then these blessings will sure find you. This person, this situation you've been chasing will find you. Your loved one really wants for you to feel happy and fulfilled, but they can only do so much. You need to do your part of the job as well. Self-love, guys. This cut fell out in the first pile as well. Love yourself, okay? If, for example, you are looking for the perfect lover or the perfect friend, and you always meet people who hurt you and let you down. It's because you don't love yourself enough. If you learn to truly love yourself, to give everything that you need to yourself, by the law of attraction, you will find someone who treats you the way you treat yourself, okay? Guys, this is a mantra for you. Treat yourself the way you wish for other people to treat you. If you practice that, you will be okay. The blessings will find you. Abundance will find you, guys. Your loved one wants to send you abundance in every aspect of your life. So not just relationships, not just um, mental health, also your physical health, but, you know, material success. They want you to have that and they are sending you their vibrations and their positivity and their blessings but it's in your hands as well and you need to realize that like this lady carrying the fox i'm hearing it's in your hands you have been accidentally blocking your loved one's attempts to send you blessings by you know pushing it being angry being impatient being in that negative mindset so you have received some very helpful advice from your loved ones here on what you can do so that they can send you this positive outcome or this person that you have been wishing for now let's get some final written messages from your loved ones about your situation I want to communicate, yes, they really wanted to reach you today with these important pieces of advice that um, have come through this far, okay? And they want to reach you. So listen and hear them. Hear them speak to you, hear them, see them send signs. But again, you need to ground yourselves and not be in a negative mindset if you want to receive all their messages. Guys, this card also fell out in the first pile. This could be a sign for you to also watch the first pile if you felt drawn to it. Death is not the end. They're still with you. They want to help you out. Know that you have never been alone. They've really been trying to help you. And if you haven't been seeing anything, if you have been feeling like your loved one doesn't care, is because you have been blocking their attempts, their blessings accidentally. By pushing too hard. What else? I need you. Wow. They need you. We need to ask for them to specify that. Because what do they mean? I think what they're trying to say is they need you happy. They need for you to be happy. What do you mean by I need you? What do you mean? Does this mean please? I need you. What does the I need you mean? Your sadness breaks my heart. Yes, so exactly. They need for you to be happy. If you want your loved one to feel happy in the afterlife, then you need to work on, you know, being happy for them because they want to see you smile. They want to see you joyful and fulfilled. They want for you to love yourself, okay? 
And if you do all of that, their blessings will sure find you. This person will sure find you and you feel you will be feeling joyful. OK, and also, by the way, didn't I say spiritual messenger, the hummingbird? And they want to communicate. So expect some messages from your loved ones. But make sure you are you create an energy field that allows for the messages and the blessings to come in. Because they're just waiting for you here. Okay, guys. So, yeah. That's all I ha have for you. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and I helped. If it did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and until soon, hopefully. Bye. Hi everyone who picked card number three, Willow and Flexibility. This is your reading. If you would like for me to channel your deceased loved one in a personal reading or ask about anything else, there's a link in the description box down below. And if you'd like to support me and what I'm doing, my channel, the whole community, then there is a link for an Amazon wishlist link. I can't speak anymore, then there is an Amazon wishlist link in the description box as well so that you can send an, an oracle or a tarot card deck or a crystal just like Amanda did. She gifted to us this amazing, um, what's it called, sacred forest deck, which I love so much. So thank you so much, Amanda. Um, but yeah, let's get into your reading today. So um, a heavenly blessing from your deceased loved ones. I feel like, and even though this reading, as almost always, is not gender specific or relationship specific, I feel many mother figures coming through, very loving mother figures. And I sometimes can pick up on individuals coming through in these readings for the collective. And I see, someone here I'm just gonna say it because I sometimes hold back on this but when I do not hold back and share that with you sometimes people email me with pictures and I see like wow that's the person I saw that's the person that came through in my reading so I see a mother she's about 45 did she die at 45 she has shoulder length gray hair dark gray hair and she died in hospital she's coming through okay that's a very specific message for some for one of you probably only but see many mothers coming through if not just very loving mother-like spirits okay a man can have motherly um energies as well so expect that they are your guardian angel by the way but i see like many hospital gowns Many of your loved ones will have passed at hospital, okay? All right, but let's get into this. So flexibility, I know that the main blessing your loved one wants to send you is a gift, a sign that will make you realize that death is not the end and that spirits can travel from the afterlife to the earthly realms, which is what your loved ones are all doing for all of you, your loved ones are in spirit and they visit you many, many times. You might have experienced some hauntings, okay? Um, in a good way, hopefully. But no, you're not crazy. Is your loved one visiting you? They actually come spend time with you in spirit. Wow, beautiful. Okay, be flexible. Be open to the idea that death is not the end and that you can feel the presence of a deceased loved one that they can still actually be right next to you maybe during this reading can you feel them that'd be cool if you could so let's channel them and ask for them what exactly this blessing is what's this blessing yes the ace of wands guys that is a sign that is a sign of their presence I'm looking at this candle and the flame, this like bright flame that's right in front of the sun. Guys, light candles for your loved ones. And by the way, you need to always protect yourselves. And you need to even ask your loved ones to respect your privacy, your personal space. 
they can only come in when you invite them in and make sure you do something so that you don't invite other spirits in as well. That's very important. So when you light your candle for your loved one, make it very clear that you only allow this one person to come in and no one else. Okay, always protect yourselves, but light a candle. Think about your loved one, light it for them, maybe light it next to their picture or like some spots where they would like to be at hang out at okay and talk to them and watch the flame and what it does they will speak to you to the flame of a burning candle wow i love that what else what's this blessing strength you have been feeling scared and again i feel like many of you are children who lost a mother so understandably you are very sad, very scared because you lost someone who is meant to be there for you, nurture you and protect you. And your loved one is telling you, you are not alone. I'm right there. They want to send you strength and they know that you need proof of the fact that you are not alone. So they will send you that proof. And hopefully you're not scared of their signs. Don't be, okay? There's no reason to be. If you were not scared of your loved one when they still had their physical body, why would you be scared of them now, okay? It's just uh, in our society, we are conditioned to think that spirits are scary, but they're not. It's still your mother or still your person, still the person you lost, okay? Don't be scared of their signs. They're telling you, if you believe you're haunted, it's them, um, and they don't mean to scare you. They mean to support you and tell you, hey, I'm still here. I still care for you. I love you so much. Wow. Do you do some of you have um, like a, a teddy or like a cuddly toy or something um, on your bed or on a couch? This is a very specific message again for some of you. If you have like a teddy or like a stuffed animal or something um your deceased loved one will do something to it it might smell have a different smell know that it's your loved one touching that teddy to make to let you know i'm here for you i want to cuddle you i want to hug you and hold you okay or they might even move that teddy okay very specific message for some of you that's the best thing Nine of Wands. Yeah, guys, well, that is so understandable. Many of you are very scared of, you know, a haunting spirit, which is so understandable. And you are right. Like, you need to protect yourself. Look up ways to protect yourself, okay? But um, in this case, if you have been experiencing stuff, do not be afraid. It's your loved one They're telling you, I'm sorry I scare you. I feel like you hear some noises or you see some shadows at night for some of you or things that move. It's your loved one, okay? And they know you've been feeling attacked. And again, this is a message, a specific one for some of you. Your loved ones might not be in a good place because they died in a traumatic way, an accident or, you know, a situation where their passing was not... Well, passings are never nice, but not a healthy one. And if your loved one is in a bad place mentally, then their appearance will reflect their energies. And I I know that some of you have been seeing shadows or dark figures. If you see that, it's not a good sign. Then light a candle, pray, ask for your guardian angels and spirit guides to step in. And speak some words of love to your loved one. Tell them, please go find the light. You will find justice and healing on the other side. Please find the light. And you can light that candle. That will be a light for your loved one, okay? So yeah, but don't be scared of them. They're not trying to harm you or scare you on purpose. They just want to find you and let you know that they're still around. Wow. Nice. Yes, Six of Cups. They they are friendly. They are friendly spirits. They might 
do slightly scary things for some of you or look scary-ish because they're a dark shadow, but know it's your loved one. Know that what you've been seeing, feeling, hearing is your loved one. They love you so much. They miss you so much. Again, I'm feeling so many mother figures coming through, but it can be anyone that you, you know, truly had a connection with where you loved and cared for each other. It's your loved one. They're telling you, I'm a friendly spirit. I'm not a poltergeist. No. That's a German word, by the way. Like, you're all going to be learning German on my channel because of some of my cards. Poltergeist is a German word, and it means geist, ghost, okay? So, a ghost that makes loud noise. Polter means, like, kind of cause havoc. So, um, if that's been happening, okay, know that they're not a poltergeist, they're friendly, they love you, okay? They're just a bit clumsy or like don't know how to appear in a way or call your attention in a way that doesn't scare you. I feel like this card wanted... Yes, the Emperor. Oh, okay. So they really want to bless you with their presence, okay? They want to bless you with their presence. And um, again, guys, you must have a stuffed animal, like a cuddly toy, or maybe some toys, or maybe you have pets who can pick up on your loved one's presence, okay? If your dog barks, especially cats are so connected to the other side, I know that because my cat acts funny sometimes, um, your animals will pick up on your loved one's presence as well. So know that. They're, they're telling you I'm trying to let your pet know I'm there and I'm kind of playing with your stuffed animal. Or do you have like maybe toys if you have kids? Do you have kind of animal toys around that your loved one moves? Yeah, got, some of you have a baby already. Some of you have a baby and babies, toddlers, they see spirits as well. So your loved one is saying they're connecting with animals pets, stuffed animals, and young kids around you um, to desperately try and get your attention. That's their blessing. And they're saying, sorry that I'm so bad at giving you blessings. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to harm you. I'm not a poltergeist. I'm a loving spirit trying to tell you that death is not the end. Guys, for some reason, I feel like you need another tarot card here. They have one final message. Okay. One final message. Like, what's this haunting blessing about? What's this haunting blessing about? Okay. King of Wands, guys. What's up with my readings? So many times I get similar, similar messages and actually like the same tarot cards in different piles. So maybe that's just because the energies are kind of present in the collective or because you're meant to watch different piles. Um, again, I can't help but see a horse here. So watch your animals, watch animals nearby. Maybe you have some horses, I do, on fields next to your house. Well, not horses, it can be like cows, whatever, cattle, you know, watch them. Because your loved one tries to desperately get your attention through like triggering animals. And um, yeah, it's, I don't know what, like they are really passionate to call your attention. Maybe you are a skeptic and not a believer. Maybe there is unfinished business, like this is something for a different video. Maybe go through my channel and see um, if you find a video that calls your attention about unfinished business, about a hidden truth or something. Your loved one wants to be heard, okay? Um, they're very eager to be heard with regards to their traumatic passing or something that's unfinished business between the two of you. Know that as long as this truth hasn't come out, as long as you know, the thing between you and them hasn't been sorted out, they will not leave. But know that they're loving and that you can trust them and that you just might need to pray for them and that your animals can see them, babies, kids, toddlers can see them and use a candle to uh, communicate with them. Wow. But um, 
your loved one is kind of bossy so as i've been saying even if they are your loved one um and you shouldn't be scared of them make sure that they accept your boundaries if you're uncomfortable with them haunting you at night then tell them please let me sleep i need to get some rest it's not okay you are scaring me come back tomorrow during daytime or please don't make these noises it scares me respect my privacy please okay and they will respect that you just have to be firm and setting these boundaries okay wow yes okay i hadn't asked my question yet but i need to take this card we have a wizard here holding his magic wand and it says um well flow why is this in english because these cards are german maybe that's a mistake i don't know but yeah go with the flow um you are very scared but just trust that it's your loved one again they're repeating themselves and it says um twirly path this is kind of like very curvy and twirly your loved one does not want to move on to the afterlife is what they're saying and um like i wonder why they come through with this in um, a video called blessings heavenly blessings i mean their presence is a blessing obviously it's a blessing to know and find comfort in the fact that they are not dead and gone that they're still alive but it feels like they want to call your attention and to tell you guys i'm still here please recognize me like let's just ask them do you actually have a proper blessing or are you a lost soul that needs attention do you have an actual blessing yeah guys family uh, familia wolf so family wolf this is a family member for like many of you for almost like 99 percent of you this is your mother or like family and they don't want to leave so the, they answer the question their blessing is that they used to want to guide and protect you they are this bossy mum wolf or dad wolf okay they want to look after you and be there for you they want to bless you with their presence and protect you but you need to talk to your uh, loved ones here and tell them please don't like be a scary um spirit like truly bless me but know that they will protect you you can't be like you're never in danger okay because they will always watch out for you they will not move over i feel like until you're old enough if you're really young to look after yourselves or until some tricky situation in your life isn't solved or maybe like never maybe until it's your time to cross over but they are family most definitely soul family if you're not biologically related to this person they consider you family they want to be there for you look after you they're not going to follow the path to the afterlife their blessing is their protection yes. Wow, yes, protector of the land's protection, guys. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps because that's everything that I just said. Their blessing is their protection. By the way, another specific message for you. If they have been acting like a poltergeist, okay, that's because they are upset at someone in your life hurting or harming you. Okay, so that, that might be why they're angry, why they're kind of acting polster guys poltergeistisch um because they are angry at someone in your life and they want to get rid of that person but again it's not okay for them to be overly bossy like you are your own person so try and tell them that as well but they absolutely want to protect you and guys again i'm seeing a shadow figure i'm seeing a shadow here alice here is in the dark you might be seeing shadow figures at, or like one shadow figure like standing somewhere and that's kind of creepy okay but it's your loved one don't be scared of it but you just you need to tell your loved one stop appearing to me as a shadow figure because that is scary and creepy that's not good that's why you need a lot of light um to kind of tell your loved one please like choose something wonderful like this fairy here she is white choose light don't be a scary 
looking shadow but again no need to be scared of that shadow it's your loved one they just need to work on accepting your boundaries a little better don't be afraid to set boundaries even if they're a mum or whoever they still need to protect protect respect your boundaries they can still protect you um if they don't haunt you at night okay but yeah family protection love this so let's get some more messages from this um, gifted oracle deck from alexandra get some more messages whoopsie fear never take all the cards that fall out this one is the one we need fear you've been scared guys wow like it's a bit creepy like um that's you this person here and your loved one they are clumsy they've been scaring you with their dark appearance again this dark angel here your loved one is upset over something and i see all of these ravens these birds that are tied they can't fly away to the afterlife by the way 11 angel number this is a message for you guys there is some unfinished business we can't answer this in this reading i have some other videos about unfinished business words left unsaid um secrets hidden truths okay things left undone go watch one of these videos because you need to help out your loved one they will um become less scary once um they have reached you with their truth but yeah they've been causing you fear and I'm saying sorry, but it's to get your attention. Change. Guys, what's with these messages here? Change. Thunder. Moon. Poltergeist. Thunder. Guys, like your loved ones will have tried to use noise to get your attention. And we have birds here, doves, and this lady with a red dress. Like they are so upset over something. Um, they want for you to make a change. I, I, I really believe... They're so protective of you and you are, in their opinion, in danger because there is a negative influence in your life and they want for you to change that. That's why they are so agitated and angry. They want to bless you with change and protection. They're not handling it the best way, I must say. It's the last card here, please, for the blessing. surrender wow and what is this it's, it's a lady but it looks like a monk surrender surrender to the change i feel like they are having a hard time surrendering to the fact that they are now in spirit and can't interfere with your life anymore and do things for you they're having a really hard time surrendering this is about them and again i see I know that this is like a, um, a nebula effect, but this looks like a figure, a shadow. We have this like once, twice, three times, four, five times. Guys, um, if you notice some shadow figures, it's your loved one. They don't want to surrender. They're very passionate. Um, even though most of your loved ones will be women and mothers, they have very male energies, like this king of wands. They are on a mission. They want to fight something. They want to bless you with a protection thing, okay? And as I said, you really need to look deeper into this to help them out and make them be less angry. But yeah, their blessing is their protection over you. Let's see if... Um, we have some more messages from them. We have written messages for you. I want to reach you through signs, yes. So they are trying many, many things to reach you. They are very desperate for you to hear them. It's just confirmation again. I am at peace. Well, I'm not so sure about that. They're not really at peace, but I feel like they want to tell you, I want to be at peace and I'm not. Let's ask for them to specify this because they're clearly not at peace. I feel like this is them saying, I want to be at peace, but I'm not because I feel like I need to protect you. We need to learn and grow. There is something that you need to do. 
that they want for you to do in order for them to find peace and it has to do with a threat or a person that your loved one's not happy with. Seek help. Guys, okay, like you must know what this is about, but I feel like many of you, you are just, you're not just scared of your loved one. You are scared of a person. Someone is threatening you or something and your loved one is so agitated because they are scared for you and that's why they're becoming like this angry poltergeist because they want to fight off whoever or whatever is harming you. So please seek help. Um, watch some more videos to get to the bottom of this. And if you have a situation in your life where you're being attacked, reach out to someone you can trust. Your loved one wants to do that because they will not find peace until you're safe. All right. They want to bless you with security and protection. They're trying their best to protect you. Okay. That's why they're so angry because they need to come in and fight for you. Guys, wow. Um, I really hope the reading resonated and brought you clarity. If it did, then give it a thumbs up, please. Comment, let me know what's going on if you like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you will never miss out on a new reading on my channel in the future. Take very good care and until soon, hopefully. Bye.